Greetings, friends and future friends. Today, I want to talk about the Arranger keyboard and the DOS system. Now, this is my workflow, and it might not be the workflow you want to use, but this is how I do things. But first, let's talk about the Arranger keyboard, because that's going to be an important part of how you're going to be able to do this. Now, the lower end Arranger keyboards with only stereo outs probably won't do this. And I know because I had a PA-1000, great keyboard, but the problem was it only had stereo out. So what that meant is I had problems exporting some of the style uh, elements out into my DOS system. What I ended up doing a lot of times was muting everything except the track that I needed, playing it back, and you could actually record that to an MP3. Then I'd bring that MP3 into my DOS system. The only problem with that is, is trying to sync everything. So it was very hard to get everything in, in time. And uh, now with the 5X, the Genos, and some of the other higher end Arranger keyboards, you have multiple outs and you can go that way. Now, granted, even with the 5X and Geno and all these other keyboards, you can actually save it to an MP3. And depending on what your client needs, you could probably do that. Just mix it all down in your keyboard and send it out. To me, I like bringing it into my DAW because it gives me an extra little bit of creativity that I can add to it, a little bit of flavor I can add to it. Plus, for me, when I'm working in my video uh, state and doing videos, what ends up happening is I'll find something in that video that is counteracting with that soundtrack. So it's nice to have it in my computer. It's nice to have it already set up in a dull multi-track system. And I can go back there and alternate that, resave it, export it out, and then bring it into my video. So there's an advantage of bringing it into your DOS system. Now, back to the Arranger keyboard. The 5X and some other keyboards at a higher end have multiple outs. And you're going to need that because for me, left and right out of the 5X is my accompaniments. One and two is the drums. I process that through a small mixer and then into some processing, signal processing, some compression. And then I run that digitally back into my DOS system. And then three and four is my bass. So I actually run three into my monitor system so I can hear the bass and four right into my DOS system. Now, with that all being said, I can actually record five tracks at one time, perfectly in sync. Now, this is great for us building songs quickly, because as you well know, some of you music producers out there, we got to be fast these days. There's so many services out there, drag and drop. And it used to be the old days where we get together and write something. Now it's, I need it now. So we have to get into a more factory fast processing system and I love this way of doing it. With the 5X and other keyboards that have multiple outs, you can go right into your DOS system and away you go. Another thing, side note, that I want to bring up is when you're building these styles, when you're going to be working with people, you want to have a library of things. You don't want to be held up. So I really suggest if you do have an arranger keyboard, go in there and create styles. Create as many styles as you can because then you have a library. You know, not right now, where we're going to run 50s Rock and Roll 01. To me, what that is, is that's 50s Rock and Roll, standard style, factory style, but it's 01. 01 is a version of mine. I have 01, 02, 03. These are different versions of that 50s Rock and Roll. And you can bring them up quickly. So the, the thing about all this is, is you can go one, two, three, right from the arranger keyboard. You can set everything up, get it the way you like it, set these mixes up so they sound good in the keyboard. And then it's no problem at all because you've already worked hours and hours on that style, getting it to sound really good. And now what you got to do is just transfer it to your DAW system. And sometimes you don't even have to do anything to it. Just transfer it to the DAW, get it all mixed a little bit better, and then send it right out to your client. Or for me, when I'm doing my videos, I can just go boom, 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 one, two, three, and it's right to my videos. So that's the process we're going to go into. We're going to be taking the Arranger keyboard and writing a style, 
playing that style and recording it into our DOS system in that process. So I got the DOS system all fired up now and I've got the PA5X fired up. And again, this is not about the Korg PA5X, but about the uh, Arranger keyboard. And the Arranger keyboard you gotta have is one that has multiple ins and multiple outs. Again, one and two is uh, the drums going out through a processing and coming back digitally in. Uh, three and four is the bass. Uh, three goes out to the monitor and four goes into the DAW. And left and right are the accompaniments and they go out into track three, which is a stereo track. So with that all said and done, we have to first make sure that our tempo and our DOS system is at 160. And I see our tempo and the style is 160. So we know that's right. And that'll be important if you're going to try and make a loop of this music. Because you want to make sure that the beats per minute on your DOS system match up to the beats per minute of your style. And we brought up a style called 50s Rock and Roll 01. Which sets another side note. When you play with this Arranger keyboard, what you want to do is create your own styles. Now for me, 50s Rock and Roll 01. That means that's 50s Rock and Roll factory preset. But what I did is it's a variation one, one of my variations. So with that, you can create all these different variations. You've got a whole library of styles you can pick from. And then one, two, three. You go from there, you bring them right in. And now what we're going to do, there's not going to be that much of a, a problem in figuring out the mix because we got the mix down pretty good already in the keyboard. We're just bringing it into the DAW system. Now, why do I do it? There's different ways. People say you can do it USB and MIDI and all that. But I've always had a latency thing with all that stuff. And you can actually take and record MP3s right out of the, the uh, Arranger keyboards and use that. And in some instances, that might be great. Your client might want something quick. You MP3 it out of your, your keyboard and hand them a, a flash drive. For me, I like going into the DOS system because there's all these plugins. And for me, there's so much creativity you can, you can do with having those files right in your face. Uh, one thing I also like about this is if I'm doing a video and I'm playing back a soundtrack that I created and it doesn't seem to be right, I can always go back to my DAW system and figure out, okay, what can I change? And change it and bring it back in. Whereas you'd have to re-record everything and redo everything over again uh, to make that change if you just had it as a solid stereo track, okay? There's two tracks and here's your file to put in your video. With this having it in the DAW system, boom, I can bring that DAW system up, bring that file up again, change some changes, save it as a, uh, a stereo file and bring it into my video and boom, you're gone. So that's why I think bringing it into a DOS system will work. Okay, so we got everything all set up. I'm just gonna play a G chord here and we're gonna hit record and take it from here. So everything's all locked and one, two, three. Now you can see the drums, the bass, and the accompaniments being recorded all in perfect sync. We'll take it to 16 bars and we'll stop. Okay, so now what do we have? We have 16 bars of music right here. And if we wanted to loop it, we could loop it. Now we could play it back in a constant loop. Now, what's cool, what's cool about this is now I have it in the, in the DOS system. So, what can we do? We can come over here and go on to the bass, solo it, play it, or the drums, and change it. Maybe uh, add some more reverb. There's the mix. Same with the bass. We come over here, change the EQ, drop it. What about the accompaniments?
And there you have it. I have all the tracks that I uh, came out of that style, the accompaniments, the drums, and the bass right in my DAW system. And now I can do whatever I want with this. And then what I can do is I can actually splice it a little closer to make it a better uh, loop. Or what I can do is totally export. I hit my F4 key and I can actually export it right out to uh, wherever I want it, whatever folder I want, whatever project name or whatever, and boom, it's a done deal. And that's so cool. But again, this is not recording a style. You know what? Let's get a little crazy. Let's get rid of all this. Let's go in here and delete this, delete this, and delete this. Go back to our starting point. Get rid of our loop so we don't overdub ourselves. But I want to show you because this is a performance. Now, I'm not going to do any lead work, but you could actually lay that in later. But what I want to do is show you how you can change. Everything you perform on this keyboard will be recorded into your DOS system. So let's try this again. Let's start out with that G. I'm going to go variation. Variation three. Variation four. And right back where we were. I can add a feel. And as you can see, we kind of went over 16 bars, but anywhere along here, we can come into this. And we can change everything. So now this song starts out. We'll go back out here and you can hear our changes. So taking your stuff, your style, you find the styles you like, you develop a library, you build them up, and then you bring them into your DOS system. And now the world is yours because I can do anything I want with this, these files. I can export them and I can bring them in or I can take the bass lines and create a song. If you're usually working with an artist, um, you could actually say, okay, here's what, what you can do is you can actually write this song down and write it and say, okay, here's the song. We wrote it and you work with an artist. You wrote this song on the arranger keyboard, but the rest of the band wants to put their, their feeling into it. So then you can say, okay, this is the arrangement and have the keyboard player play the part, have the uh, drummer play. A heel. This is the drum track that it was recorded with, but that doesn't mean it's a drum track you got to keep. These are all options you have with an arranger keyboard that you can do things with and you can bring it into the DOS system. And when you do that, again, the world is yours. So my friends, that's how I use my Accord PA5X with my DOS system. Now you don't have to have a Accord PA5X, but you definitely need to have a Arranger keyboard that has multiple outs to do what I'm doing. You have to have multiple outs of the keyboard coming into multiple ends of your DOS system. And when you do that, you've got something really going on because now you can do whatever you want with that music. So my friends, take care and thanks for watching.